thank you for joining me for this tutorial. This is the third in our series of tutorials on the food processor menu plan. The first two are about creating a menu plan and using the food pick list. We've covered how to create menus and so now we're going to go over using cycles. Now cycles are simply a series of days. So you can use a cycle to create many plans for a week or three days or a month or any of those. You can have more than one cycle in your menu plan record. Okay, to create a cycle, go up here and click cycle. This is our cycle one. Now from the day pick list, you choose what days to add to the cycle. I've got menus for two days. So I'm going to make a cycle of four days. So I'm going to add day two twice and day one twice. So I have here, I'm going to show my titles here. I have here a cycle for four days. Now these I called day one and day two. In the cycle, that's a little confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and change them to Monday. Tuesday and so forth. I won't necessarily show you how to do that, but this is one cycle. We can go ahead and name the cycle. Let's call it October four days. Okay. And like I said, you can create any number of cycles simply by going up here and selecting add cycle. You can create a three day cycle, week cycle, a month cycle, whatever. You just keep adding the number of days. And like I said, you can add more than one cycle to this menu plan. So go up here, click add cycle, and you can have a four day cycle with the days arranged differently. And you can go ahead and name your cycle. If you need to, you can delete your cycle. There are a couple more things that I want to go over. And the first one is what happens if I change something in one of my days? So let's take a look at day one. I have this tea prepared from instant unsweetened one cup. So let me go over here to day one and I'm going to change my tea to half a cup. Okay, so that's changed in my day here. If I save it, and go back over here to my cycle, what does that look like? Okay, so we see that when I change something in a day, it's going to change that day inside a cycle. So you don't have to go through and change everything manually. All right, let's assume this one is finished, close it out. And how do I get to it again? Once I need to, if I need to go back into my cycle, how do I find it? You have to open the menu plan that it's attached to. So you may have more than one menu plan. I don't in this example, but you may. Whatever menu plan it's attached to, or it's part of, you open that menu plan. And then you just go over here to the cycle and choose whatever cycle it is. Had there been more, they would have shown up here also. So just select the correct cycle that you want to work on from the cycle menu inside the menu plan that it's attached to. And that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you.